I was scrolling on YouTube one day and I came across this video called We Hosted an Offensive Trivia Night. Now, this isn't usually the kind of video that I would watch, but I was very bored that day. So I decided, you know what? I'll click on it. I'll give it a watch. It might be funny. Now, I did feel like it was a little bit of clickbait because the questions weren't actually offensive at all. But the idea behind this video was that what was offensive is that they brought in some guy that was one of them to pretend to be a local. And the idea of the whole quiz night was that the best local who could answer all the questions correctly would win some kind of prize. But the local was brought in by them. It wasn't really a local, so they kind of just scammed everybody. <laughs> Anyway, most of the questions were actually quite difficult, okay? I couldn't answer them. Most other people probably couldn't answer them. Unless you've got like loads of general knowledge in your brain, you're really going to struggle with all of these questions. Apart from when he got to the last question, and this was intended to be the big dog, you know, the final nail in the coffin. You're not going to win this. Our guy that we've brought in is going to win the prize that we're going to not give him because it's one of us. Is it possible for this list to contain every reel in the interval from zero to one? This is just all the numbers between zero and one. Answer yes or no and justify with a precise construction that either finds a missing number or explains why none are missing. Now this question looks really hard, but it's actually a lot simpler than you might think if you know and recognize what it's talking about. Okay, this is called Cantor's diagonal argument and the question is stated in a very poor way I think they've cropped too much out and they've definitely used chat GPT by the way I mean I could just recognize by the font and by the fact that the interval 0 to 1 is repeated three times like only chat GPT does that now the question contains d11 d12 d13 but these just represent any random digit okay so I've just replaced them with random digits so you can see what's really going on here the question is actually asking if I create all of these lists of numbers and digits, all of them, and I try to list every single one that is between zero and one, R is between zero and one, then can I possibly ever create a list, even if I have infinite time, can I create a list of these numbers? And the answer is even with infinite time, still no. Because let's assume that you've had infinite time, you've jotted down these infinitely long numbers with an infinite stretch, down and an infinite stretch along. Okay, all of these go huge infinite list. Okay, let's assume that that is true. And then we construct another number, which I'll just call R. And we'll do this by taking each of the diagonal digits, six, one, uh, four, nine, eight, and so on down the list. And I construct this new number. And then if this digit is equal to five, then we're going to change it to a six. And if it's not equal to five, we're going to change it to five. And you'll see what happens. Okay, so it's not equal to five. So we'll change it to a five, not equal to five, we'll change it to a five, not equal to five, we'll change it to a five, not equal to five, we'll change it to a five, not equal to a five, we'll change it to a five. Let's let's input a, a, a five in here somewhere just to just to make it different here. So you can see what's going on. So let's put a five here. So this is now equal to five. So it's going to change to a six. All right. Now you can see we've got a new number. Okay. This is going to go on forever because we're going to go down the list. Okay. It's between zero and one and it is different from every other number, even if this list is infinitely long. And how I know that is because it's going to be different to R1 because it's different in the first digit. You see, if it's different in the first digit, it can't be the same number. OK, this has to be different because the first the first digit, the very first digit tells us R1 is not equal to R. OK, because they're not equal. All right. It's also different to R2 because the second digit is different to the second digit of R2. The third digit is a six, but it's a five here and they're not the same. So this is not equal to R3, not equal to R4, not equal to R5. And because of how we constructed this number using all the other numbers, this is guaranteed to be different to all the other Rs all the way down to R infinity, all of them, okay? Even if you had infinite time. So this creates a contradiction. We've assumed that it is true that these are all the digits, but we've created a contradiction because this is a new number, okay? So even with infinite time, the answer is no, and this is called Cantor's diagonal argument. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know, like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord in the description, and piss off.